to a lemonade stand and he said to the man run it oh good morning kids hold on one second let me find penny 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 i'm coming i'm penny. coming penny. wait Penny's wait coming. i'm coming okay good morning gcc kids it's betty the bear here and penny the pup and we'll be your host today <laughs> thank you everyone for tuning in from home this morning we're so glad you're here with us yeah and we're so excited that we can sing and dance and learn more about jesus with all of you today in just a few moments teacher tass and teacher crystal will be leading us in a time of worship and sharing a bible story with us that's right but before we start today's service penny do you remember what day it is uh today what's today you know we talked about it last week it's a special day uh, the special day that's dedicated to celebrate to celebrate our our mo oh 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 right sorry yes i remember now sorry i'm so forgetful today's mother's day that's right so in light of mother's day Penny and I actually put together a little poem and it's dedicated to all of our mommies to show how much we love and appreciate you. It's not the greatest, but we tried our best, so we hope you like it. Mm -hmm. And to all our GCC kids, don't forget to share this poem with your mommies later, especially if she's not sitting right next to you right now. And don't forget to give them a great big hug and mm -hmm. wish them a happy Mother's Day after today's service. Yeah. Okay. Here it goes. All right, here we go. <laughs> Dear Mommy, Roses are red. Violets are blue. Thank you for loving us. And feeding us. And helping us. We don't know what we would do without someone like you. We're so thankful to Jesus for giving us a mommy like you. So happy Mother's Day to you! you. Yay! Yay! mommies out there. We hope you enjoyed our little poem. I can't wait to go home after service to wish my mommy a happy Mother's Day. Me too. <laughs> Penny, what's your favorite thing about your mommy? Hmm, it's hard to pick just one thing. There are so many things I love about my mommy, hmm. but I guess if I had to just choose one thing, I love that she's my friend Aww. and she always listens to me and cares for me and she even lets me help her in the kitchen. Wow. She calls me her little helper. <laughs> what about you, Benny? <laughs> well, for me, I just love that my mommy is so nice and she's so forgiving. Even when I do bad things or I get into trouble, I mean, she does get mad in the beginning, but she never holds a grudge. And, and she always, always forgives me and she always gives me a hug after and tells me that it's okay. Wow. You know, that's exactly what God would do. It reminds me of what we learned last week. Mm. That because God loves us so much, he doesn't hold grudges against us. So we shouldn't hold grudges against other people too. And we should forgive them in love like God does. Wow, that's right, Penny. I never thought of it like that. <sighs> Mommies are so great. Yeah, they really are. But sometimes... I wonder if I can be as close to God as I am to my mommy. Oh, Penny, why would, why would you say that? Do you not feel very close to God sometimes? Well, I do most of the time. It's just sometimes I wonder if I'm special enough to be an important helper to God like I am to my mommy. I know my mommy loves me because, you know, she's my mommy. So I know that I'm enough for her and that I'm special to her, but I don't know if God feels the same way about me. Does, does that make sense? Mm, that makes sense, Penny. I understand what you mean. But you are special enough to be God's helper. And God loves you because you are you. And you don't have to be anything else for him to love you. And just like your mommy is your friend, God is also your friend. So you don't have to worry about being not important enough because you are important to him. Really? Yeah! And did you know actually, later today, Teacher Tess and Teacher Crystal are going to share a Bible story with us, and that's exactly what they're going to be talking about. They're going to talk about how God sent His Son Jesus to earth so that we could be His friend. Wow, really? That's so perfect! I can't wait! <laughs> Me too! But before we get into Bible story, we're going to have a time of worship. And before we have a time of worship, let's 
pray. So let's put our hands together and let's bow our heads and close our eyes and Penny will pray for us. Dear Jesus, thank you for another wonderful Sunday and helping us come together through our screens even though we can't meet in person. Thank you for each and every single person tuning in from home today. And for all our mommies out there, thank you for creating them. Please be with Teacher Tess and Teacher Crystal as they lead our time together and help us to be ready to learn more about you today and how we can be your friend. Thank you for this time. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Thanks for praying, Penny. And now we're going to be going into a time of worship. Woo! This is my favorite time because we get to sing to God and tell him how much we love him. Yeah. Today, we're going to be singing three songs. What? Three songs. We're going to sing Marvelous Light and then Light of the World and One Way. So everyone, let's get ready. Loosen up your arms, loosen up your neck, and jump around with your legs because we're going to worship. So everyone, take a step back and get ready to worship together. Okay, let's all sing as loudly as we can with Teacher Tess and Teacher Crystal. Let's go get a seat, Penny! Wow, okay, okay, let's go. Woo! I once was fatherless, a stranger with no hope. Your
mentioned earlier, today we're going to be sharing a story about how God sent his son Jesus to earth so that we could be his friend. Wahoo! Wahoo! I'm looking forward to it. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah! Yeah. Okay, so everyone get comfortable and keep your eyes and ears open for what they have to share with us today. Okay, Benny, let's go! Good morning, Good morning everyone. everyone! And happy Sunday! We're so glad to see you today! And happy Mother's Day! Mm-hmm! Penny and Betty's poem was so cute. It really was. And we hope all of you GCC moms enjoyed it. I know they worked really hard on it. So we just wanted to thank you uh, just for who you are and being our moms. <laughs> <laughs> so like Benny mentioned earlier, um, today we're going to be learning about how God is our friend. Just like we are our mom's special helpers, we are also God's special helpers for his kingdom. That's right. So let's get started with today's story. Mm -hmm. Jesus' friends were arguing. Who was the most important helper in God's kingdom? They wanted to know. I am, James said. No, you're not, said Peter. I am. Nonsense, Matthew said. I'm the cleverest. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Yes, no, am too. This silliness went on and on like that for some time. You see, Jesus' friends had started thinking they had to do something to make themselves special to Jesus. That if they were the cleverest or the nicest or something, Jesus would like them the best. But they had forgotten something. Something God had been teaching his people all through the years. That no matter how clever you are or how good you are or how rich you are or how nice you are or how important you are, none of it makes a difference. Because God's love is a gift. And as anyone will tell you, the whole thing about a gift is it's free. All you have to do is reach out your hands and take it. So while Jesus' friends were arguing, some people who knew all about getting gifts, in fact, you might say they were gift experts, had come to see Jesus. Who were they? They were little children. Jesus' helpers tried to send them away. Jesus doesn't have time for you, they said. He's too tired. But they were wrong. Jesus always had time for children. Don't ever send them away, Jesus said. Bring the little ones to me. Now, if you had been there, what do you think? Would you have had to line up quietly to see Jesus? Do you think Jesus would have asked you how good you'd been before he'd give you a hug? Would you have had to be on your best behavior and get dressed up and not speak until you're spoken to? Or would you have, just, would you have done just what these children did? Run straight up to Jesus and let him pick you up in his arms and swing you and kiss you and hug you and then sit you in his lap and listen to your stories and your chats. You see, children love Jesus and they knew they didn't need to do anything special for Jesus to love them. All they needed to do was to run into his arms. And so that's what they did. 
Well, after all the laughing and games, Jesus turned to his helpers and said, No matter how big you grow, never grow up so much that you lose your child's heart, full of trust in God. Be like this, these children. They are the most important in my kingdom. The, the end. Thank you, Teacher Crystal and Teacher Tess, for sharing that story with us today. I hope all of you learned about how Jesus is our friend. That was a really great story mm -hmm. and a good reminder for me. I'm so glad I don't have to be anything other than be myself for God to love me and be his friend. It's, it's really nice to know that. Yeah, that's right, Penny. God is your friend just like your mommy, and he loves you just as much. You know, I always thought I needed to do more for God to love me, but I guess I was wrong. God loves me for me and always has time for me. Yeah, Penny, amen. You are more than enough for him. Do you think you could give us a recap from last week and from today? Sure. Okay, so last week we learned that because God loves us so much, he doesn't hold grudges against us. So we shouldn't hold grudges against other people too. And we should forgive them like God does. Mm -hmm. And today we learned that because God loves us so much, he loves us for who we are and not for what we can or cannot do for him. Yeah. We are God's special helpers, and He is our special friend. Amen! That's right, Penny! So this week, let's remember that we are important, and we are special. We don't have to do anything or be anything else to be God's helper and to be God's friend. He already loves us. We can't earn it anymore. So let's remind ourselves of this truth every single day this week. Amen! That sounds like a great idea, Benny. Great! Okay, everyone. Let's put our hands together and let's pray. I'll pray for us today. Thank you, Jesus, that you love us with a very, very perfect love. Thank you that we can't do anything that could make you love us less or love us more. And I pray this week that we would be your good friend every day. Thank you, Jesus, and in your name we pray. Amen. 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 Thanks for praying for us, Benny. But it seems like... We're already out of time. No! I'm so sad. No! But thank you everyone for joining us this Sunday. We hope you had a great time with us today. And don't forget about our challenge this week. And don't forget to wish your mommy a happy Mother's Day. Yeah, happy Mother's Day. Have a great week, everyone. We'll see you next Sunday. Bye, Bye. friends. Happy Mother's Day.